What? Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. All right. Let's put in this last little bit of work and get some breakfast and go to bed. What's up, everybody? I'm so glad you're back for part three of the Twin Mirror game. It's a video game. I'm playing it on the PC, but it's a decision-based game, and I'm telling you, if you have not seen the first two parts of this storyline, you need to start from the beginning. No point in starting from the middle. You'll ruin everything. Trust me. This story is juicy. Okay, so... I was gonna just stop at um, part two, but I, I just I gotta keep going. It's just, I, I just wanna know what's gonna happen. It's getting good, honey, it's getting good. So, let's dive right in to part three of Twin Mirror. If you have not liked this video yet, just, 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 just press the button, okay? And if you're not part of my community, what are you doing? Um, come on in. <laughs> Yes, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because if you miss anything, you'll be behind. You'll be behind. So, catch up, catch up, catch up. Chill, 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 chill. And like let's jump into the, tree. the third part of Twin Mirror. I'm just sitting here. Michelle. All right, so we left off. Sam <clears throat> is looking for Dennis. Excuse me. Spoiler alert. Stop watching because I'm about to tell everything from the first two episodes. All right, he beat up Dennis. Now he's looking for Dennis. Can't nobody find Dennis. Where Dennis at? So we're at the Basswood Jungle, which is the journal it's been a while. publication spot. This place used to be my home, or he at least felt like at. it. He heard that Dennis um, works. Where is Dennis? Works he should here. be in here. Sometimes even during um, close office hours. So that's why we're here. Per the advice of people in town, um, AKA Anna and Walter, both said that sometimes Dennis is working. <gasps> Dennis. Dennis. What happened? Who? Sam, when you focus, you can think through any problem. Hello? Sam, no, don't think about it. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. Sam, no, don't think about that. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. is a distraction. I 
This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Uh, sir, you are you are on the scene of a crime. You need to get the out of there. Like this morning. This. No, y'all go. Figure this out before Dennis dies again. And the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. The chair is pretty far away from the desk. But I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Sprayed on the desk from the injury, but I need more to go on. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think that's important. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. A the killer gunshot. must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Yeah. The blood got all over the wall here. But where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I go. need to find that gun. This was the shooter's position. Was it me? Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? So Dennis was see. shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? Where did the gun come from? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Why would you have moved his think body? Think about it, Sam. Yeah. Calm down and think. Okay, Because I'm hyped up. Whoa. It's a lot. <laughs> you're, you're right. I can see it. Picture now. Mm. 
thought on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. That's right. There you go. You calm it down. Blackout drunk, it. panicked. I stumbled to my car. <sighs> Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Mm. Right, because you should not have been driving, sir. I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. Right. I need to search the area. Just because already people See don't like I can they find can't out wait. why someone would murder Dennis. To pin something on you to get you under the gutter. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have mm. something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Let's see what we got up in here. All right, so we're checking his drafts of his email. Draft. You to Mary Gardner and Frank Gardner. So he was sending an email, or about to. Gonna be home very late tonight, sorry. I need to make an asshole understand how the world really works. I won't be able to make breakfast, but there's some waffles in the freezer, and should be some, and that's where he left off. So Mary and Frank is who he was sending that email to. What else we got? Let's check the inbox. All right, let's check the urgent one first. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Okay, so... Smart. Nick... Someone was watching. Okay, so Nick and Dennis were emailing each other, and this is an email from Nick to Dennis saying, I don't think... I don't think I'd hear... I didn't think I'd hear from you again. If you're willing to talk, I'm very willing to listen. I can make the meetup tomorrow, Nick. Clearly before he died in that car crash. So they were up to something. All right, let's see. All right, so now let's do the curiosity. Whatever Nick email. was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. All right, so we have another email from Nick to Walt. It says, hey Walt, sorry to disappoint. But I've decided to drop the story. It turned out I got a dead end after all. Better luck next time, I hope. So then Walter responds and says, Dear Nick, I hope you had a pleasant trip. Uh, you mentioned last week that you were on the brink of a big story. Things are things on our side haven't been oh excuse me, oh my gosh, it's so light. Things on our side have been rather lackluster. I'm afraid. I was hoping maybe you would like to share this with this old you would like to share this old owl. What? Oh my gosh. What you got up your sleeve? Okay. Have a moment, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The puzzle really? comes together. It's like five in the morning. Dennis oh was God. reading everyone's emails. I'm, addicted. I'm already addicted. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Mm. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. All right, so I'm going to make sure I don't miss anything here. Another one, but Dennis is name play. Another one Walter won't have to put in the closet. OK. Um, Corpse, fatal chest wound. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Right. So what story were they working on? Or who was it about to pull the lid off of? Because somebody wanted it hush hush. Quite quiet. So let's go into Walter's office. Let's see what we got here. Walter's name plate. Who cares? Let's find your computer. Sorry. Clickety click, 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 click. <laughs> It's a cat. <laughs> Alright, Walter, enter the password. What? There might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Oh, password reminder. <laughs> Hopefully his password reminder isn't some esoteric book ref. Ugh. My heart's if I desire. Ever go looking for my it could mean a person, but also a place. Desire. If I ever go looking for my heart's desire, um, 
there was a writing on the wall next to where Joan was sitting in the middle of town. I don't remember who it was by. Ah, oh, freak. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. Hmm. That's not a clue. Oh, his books. He got a clue in his books. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Alice in Wonderland? Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. <coughs> Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. Let's try, um, if I ever go looking for my heart's desire. Let's go Wonderland. <laughs> that's not it. I have to keep it. <laughs> Man, that's not it. Try fast loop. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Even on the game. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Where am I? <laughs> All right, so from Walter to Bess Mitchell. Bess, I wanted to extend my greatest thanks again for your help. You're a scholar and a saint. It looks like I was worried unnecessarily regardless. Thank you for putting my mind at ease, Walter. From Bess to Walter. Hey, hon. Here's the report on Nick's crash. You haven't asked for one of these in a while. Nothing all that interesting here. Just another sad day by the roadside. West Virginia roads take more good sons than guns do. Bess Mitchell, who is the chief of police. Okay, all right, we get, this is getting juicy. Okay, okay. Oh, so this, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There's an attached file. Oh, there's an attached file. Let's see. Mostly standard so far, by the book. Right. I see why Walter Basswood wasn't worried. Police Department incident report, type of incident, roadside accident, date of incident, April 2nd, 2017, location of incident, Telegraph Hill Highway, Route 18. Details of the investigation, one of three persons involved. Details of the investigation, one third, I don't know what that means when it comes to a police report in this case, but okay, we'll keep going. Persons involved named Nicholas Waldron, age 35, Vehicle's color red, make Cosmo model a 28 Romero. Narrative, car found against a tree surrounded by debris. Fire started at or after impact and burned out with Nicholas Waldron in the driver's seat. Skid marks and other traces suggest the driver was startled by an animal or exited the road at high speed. The driver most likely inebriated in some form. Oof. Okay. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. Hmm. Let's keep reading. All right, details, two thirds. Airbags deployed, seatbelt was not on. Windows were rolled up. And see, he just said he always wears a seatbelt and his window. Mm. Driver probably drunk and forgot the belt. The fire burned out a small area around the car, but didn't spread. Unknown if the driver was alive at the time of crash, but if so, did not survive the fire. Blunt force trauma, smoke inhalation, and burns are all possible causes of death. Mm. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. Mm. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Mm. See, you know your friends. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know Even if I did. Even if y'all part for a little while, you still kind of know your friends. Like, you, you remember their habits, especially if y'all were childhood friends. I think it's and time I like... check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out. He's like, nah, you know, I ain't seen my dude in a while, but all of this sounds wrong. I know that he would just never just do things like that, not like that. All right, so that's his nameplate. What else we got? Uh, what else we got down here? A missing laptop. Nick's computer is missing. Mm, who got the laptop? Took it home to work or stolen? The only thing she bug. cared about then was looking at bugs hey. and drawing them. This is little daughter. Okay. What's this? I don't so I can see. And it was yours. No, I can't open them. Too easy to access. Wouldn't keep anything important in them. Okay, you're right. We're not. Is it safe right here? Oh gosh. Hold on, back up. If I had the code, I could get in here. Ain't getting the safe right now. Not right now. It's covered. Okay. All right. This is board. Work board. Got some posters up here. See. Valid question. What Still not say? sure. You do here. What would you say you do here? All right. They don't even work here anymore. <laughs> Someone should really clean up this board. Tim and Kathy, his baby mama, they've been broke up. What the All right, so 2341, don't forget. That's like at 1141 at night, don't forget. Okay, they're using military time. I don't know what that is, look it up. But they count time in 24 hours instead of a 12 hour clock. Like, all right, all right, I think I looked at everything. Okay, or did I because, um, handwriting always paranoid about forgetting things I remember Walter said he always had notes and couldn't remember passwords they don't even work here anymore someone should really clean up this board uh, okay valid question still not sure all right so I mm, I think I've inspected this board enough I inspected his desk just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, oops. I did miss that. Put it down, take it. Let me take this. And I'm gonna miss this. Nick wouldn't mind if I kept this. Well, for old time. time's sake. Oh, that's right. I'm keeping it. Empty! Hey, what's this? I left you some pepperoni rolls in the fridge. Don't work too late. P.S. Next time it's your turn. Hey. Weird. Nick was always more a fan of beer than working late. Hmm. Okay. I think I expected everything, right? <sighs> I think I caught it all, you guys. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Some more. Okay. Is that it? What else we got here? Drawings. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Is that 3121? Was it? Was it? 
always treated us like family. Oh, the old desk. Okay. Walter always treated us like family. out there when, well, this happened. Yo, I have no idea what else. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm overlooking some. I already looked at the books, looked at the paintings, looked at the picture. Okay. What am I not saying? Let me go back to Nick's desk because I feel like I must have missed something there. Check out the board. Let me, oh. Oh, safe is up. What was it, 3141? Okay. Three, one, four, one. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt Three, I'll stumble one, two, on it. One, my bad. All right. Three, one, two. Well. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always for? kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was what? tracking something, right. or someone. Name of Pastor Nick from West Virginia. Oh, he went to Florida on a train, okay. Let's see what else, you guys. He has some other Nick was notes. looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. Which was... What was he looking for? Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed. Well, very normal. Flattened out the last year or so. On the rebound, numbers looking good. Trend or out there? Mm -hmm. Need more data points. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Mm. Let's read it. Okay. What's that saying? 1.27 8 p.m. with the twitchy guy that might have something useful 5 p.m. second meeting second meeting with the this is actually something assuming he's not full of crap always wants to meet in spooky spots maybe he's seen too many movies <laughs> 10 a.m. with D had to buy him breakfast and he said we could meet we couldn't meet anymore seems like a dead end thought I lost him Glad he's open to talking again. Okay. So he must have shut down and then changed his mind and still wanted to talk. Did I already read everything? Okay. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there 
What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. Mm. That would explain a lot, wouldn't it, y'all? Because if he was going through all those measures to be secretive, you going out of town, you, you're not saying much, you, you're doing all types of stuff out of character. This is a big deal. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. I need to be very careful. Nick was in over his head. He tried to tell me something. Let's say I need to be careful. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. Mm. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. That's changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. But that is true also. Just I... remember, if you're right... <sighs> Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Dennis is dead. I didn't kill him. You have to trust me. I didn't kill him. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Person? Sam, you were clearly hiding something when we talked at the cafe. Was it this? Anna, I didn't kill Girl, Dennis, I... I promise. Of course, I know that. It's the only reason I'm not running for my life, but why haven't you said anything? At least to me. I wish you trusted me. This, it won't look good. Girl, you were sleeping we with need my to best call friend. the police. They'll think I killed him. Trust is weird right I thought now. I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. Mm. It's the right thing to do. Mm. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You already decided not to trust Anna about the shirt back at Christina's. If you don't listen to her now, what will she think of you? the cops. Let's move. Sometimes you gotta... Okay. Oh, but man, not that far. Okay. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. Right. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. I'd like you to come with me. I can manage it on my own. Bring her with you. Build up her trust. We I'd like you her. to come with me. Mm -hmm. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Like, let's be honest, right? Okay. You didn't trust me with all this at the cafe, but I am trusting you. Let me call the police from a landline real quick before we go. This story is getting juicy. You know, I, ooh, I had a feeling homeboy was dead, though, because too many people were saying he would normally be around and they haven't seen him. But now he got his ex cake cake helping him. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure, I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember, especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. End the plot. Dickens. This is the place. This is this is getting. I thought it was juicy, but I feel like that's an understatement. I feel like. Mm. 
because you know. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. Everybody saw you fighting, Dennis. They gonna think. First, gather the clues. Cold, oh, hard, hi. plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. All right. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. Hmm. It's a bit far from the road. shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, hmm. no trace of sudden breaking. Which is odd, because, you know, if you come and towards something and you feel like you're losing control or whatever, even if you, you would, you would, you would try to stop. Hmm. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. Went off the road without even trying to stop. Ouch. What's going on? Oh, wait. Hold up. What is that? Right Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Mm. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Hmm. All right, I think we've looked at everything that we can see right here. So let's keep get, gathering more clues. Um. The acid washer jacket, or attempt to. I forgot. Mm, I can also. So his car went off the road. Let's make sure. Let's go over here. Okay. So his car just swerved off this way. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Ooh. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. all the clues yet because the brain in the upper right hand corner is still yellow let's see what's over here okay no oh here we go an animal came through here maybe that's what surprised nick mm. but the tracks don't reach the road Let's 
checking everything. Just like you really would. Alright, let me turn it up. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? in the fire. Alright, so I want a little oh, hello. Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Right That's all the information I need. That's Time to put everything need. together. So now, let's see. What we come up with from um, all those clues. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. Don't do that. He was startled by an animal. drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Road signs were damaged. Two of them were torn and burnt. Okay, there's another clue somewhere. And I'm not seeing it. Let me go find it. Because that's what's keeping me from not being able to. Let's see what would happen if he was unconscious. But 
Nick's car did burn. I know that. How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Maybe they don't have anything to do with each other. But Nick's car did burn. I know that. Okay. So it caught on fire. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. Mm, somebody's trying to cover up something. Something going on. Somebody's trying to cover up something. So, he was passed out. It caught on fire. I thought you quit. And it just burned the man alive. I did. Mm. So, did you find anything? <sighs> wow. Nick, he was Somebody murdered. I killed him. There was no accident. I'm sorry, I don't. The police report was clearly wrong. Somebody trying to cover Fucking something. No. Anna? No. Here, just. Joe, it's Hello? Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. <gasps> what? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Somebody broke, broke into her house that fast? Yo, she ain't even been gone that long. Mm, somebody is up to no good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Knowledge is power completed. And it's property. Mm. Okay, so about dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please. It'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Right. She also, take a few moments a for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now some other guy, Nick of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. Mm, she seems exactly the same. I hope I'm different enough. I can handle it. I can handle it. I think I can handle this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. In a 
voice. Don't think he's tripping. <laughs> His inner voice. Mm, look how you walking. Like Last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. Like about to DDT somebody. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone oh, broke into my daughter's fine? house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. Crazy day we're having up. Doctors are important. Joke it out. Um, doctors are important. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Decide Can't miss appointments. Anna. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around? No, but I side with Anna before I side Dad, with you. I love you, <laughs> and I love that you want to protect me. But please, it'll be okay. okay. Go to your doctor's <laughs> appointment. His bouquet. The police will be here soon. Anna. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules. I'll <laughs> leave you to it. Thank you. But before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Oh, boy. No pressure. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Right. Joe, she's like, uh, I don't know. I'm she's all right I have left. I can't hear you all. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your Dad, word. I can hear you. Wow. Heavy. Right? Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. He is. I can't like, bro, we're not promise even together something anymore. like that. I don't know what might happen. Right. He just what wants to feel like someone has looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Exactly. Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. Mm. <sighs> if I promise him that something happens, he's gonna blame me. If I refuse, he's gonna be like, you a piece of ass, stay away from my daughter. And then I really get, okay. Let's just, Ooh, okay. Let's promise. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up See? in it. There you go. Tell the truth. All right. I'm trusting you on this. And do the best you can. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I saw I'm heading way, inside. Now. See how bad it is. You be all right. Calm down. Go drink you some tea. Drink you some tea. A little ginger and turmeric tea never hurt anyone. Get you a cup. <laughs> okay. We need to get in there eventually. So, maybe I should look around the property first. And we're going to do that on the next episode. So if you have not watched part one and two of Twin Mirror, you are slipping. Do not come in on part three and just, oh, I get it. No, you need to watch the whole thing. So make sure you check out the playlist. I'll have um, episode or part one, two, and now three, of course, that we just came up on this information that has let us know for sure that your boy Nick was murdered he was investigating something serious according to all the information we gathered back at the office where he worked and so now we're just trying to figure out who has broken into Anna's house because while we were busy collecting evidence somebody was busy creeping into her property and taking something or looking for something that we don't know so let's find out what happened on the next episode of twin mirror the game Again, this game came out in 2020 by Don't Not Entertainment. Thank y'all. I really like this game. It's fun. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fully in it. I am fully in the storyline. It's juicy. It's, 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 it's a crime thriller. Like, I want to know it's a real whodunit. So that's what makes it fun for me. Hopefully, it's fun for you, too. 
so until part four i will see you later be safe be smart hit that subscribe button if you are not part of this community because child you don't want to miss these videos whether it's asmr or games or whatever this is a chill zone safe space so hit that notification bell because when i post things you don't want to miss it honey you don't want to miss a single thing you want to be right front row okay so um yeah hit that like button also because you're gonna stay here for the whole video hit that like button don't play with me <laughs> all right take care i'll see you on the next one I'm excited. Ooh, let's see. Let's see who did this. It's getting juicy. Oh no, it's it's gotten juicy. It's the juice, alright? And and we got the juice now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>